Yo, FF Vibes TV, I real TV. Yo, review boss, bring the review them fast. Wanna make sure to hit that subscribe button. And a nothing, hit that notification bell. You know it well. FF Vibes TV, we bring that exclusive international and local entertainment review. As done. All right. So, as you could see, right now, so we're gonna kick it off. Blood clot, do them. We know what's going on about here. Breaking news, the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. That's what we're talking about tonight, people. The feds, them not too long, raid Puff Daddy property, raid Puff Daddy house. And we're going to break it down, we're going to dissect it. So I want you guys to share the live, give the video a thumbs up as you check in, please. You understand? Let's bring in CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Josh, uh, let me start with you. What do these uh, raids by federal agents in multiple locations tell you about the seriousness of this investigation? Yeah, Wolf, a very significant development here, seeing this law enforcement action taking place. I'll uh, point out, just to be clear at the outset, we don't know that Sean Diddy Combs himself is the subject or target of a federal investigation. So it's just worth pointing that out at this hour. But what we do know is that two properties associated with him, uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents, both here in the Los Angeles area, as well as in uh, Miami at those residences. Now, the Department of Homeland Security, their uh, what's called H. HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, gave CNN a statement. I'll read you part of that when asked uh, about what this activity is. They say that earlier today, HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. That is it, confirming that they are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted there, uh, could indicate arrests being conducted. We just don't know at this hour specifically specifically what that law enforcement action is. It is worth pointing out, though, that Combs himself obviously has faced uh, significant legal woes in recent months. I'll give you just a, a kind of a high, the highlights of what uh, actually occurred. Uh, in November, he was sued for rape and abuse by a former partner. That, settle, uh, that lawsuit was then settled. I don't know if you guys know what's been going on with Puff Daddy. I don't know if you guys are abreast with what's been going on with Puff Daddy, but you know um, Puff Daddy has been sued for over 50, about the 50 million, yes, from one of his chicks, one of his girlfriend, go by the name of Young Miami, yes. So they're using all of this. And since that sued happen with Puff Daddy, um, multiple women came out, even men, Jesus Christ, even men, male came out and said, yo, there was abuse, I know sexual abuse by Puff Daddy. So I think they finally, because a lot of persons was wondering why they are not conducting an um, investigation on Puff Daddy and these allegations that is coming to him. You know what I mean? But like, 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 you know, like we always know now. Whatever got up and got to happen. And like they was just building up evidence until they got the right time to read. Or is either Puffy was putting up some kind of defense, make, um, they didn't get a chance to raid his house or search his property, and eventually they got it. So, yeah, man, right now we got it right here over here on FF Vibes TV. So, big up everybody for checking in. Please give the video a thumbs up as you forward. Told very quickly, but in December, he faced sexual assault allegations in a complaint filed in the Southern District of New York. The suit was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe, who said that uh, she was 17 at the time when these allegations uh, took place. And back in wow. 2003, uh, he was accused of sex trafficking and gang rape, among other allegations. Also in that suit name. I ain't going to tell no lie, though. I know this shit was coming, bro. I know this shit was coming. Straight up. I'm not telling no lie. I know definitely this was coming, bro. Straight up. And from one person give you a suit, like when Bill Cosby got, you know what I mean? He got locked up by one person. Then you see multiple ladies, multiple people start coming out one by one, one by one. And it's something whereby, you know, when somebody get away with something or feel they're too powerful, they continue to do it and do it and do it. So it's left like a book with pages. So obviously if one page come, come out of that book, and got and get revealed all of the recipes them 
I got to get revealed straight. Naming two of his associates. Of course, Combs denied any wrongdoing there. And then just last month, a former employee of Combs filed a suit also uh, in the state of New York, accusing him of sexual assault, of sexual harassment and, quote, grooming. That former employee stated that he had worked for Combs between 2022 and 2023. Among those allegations, this former employee, a male employee, said that Combs did not compensate him for his music production work and forced him to procure and interact with sex workers, threatened him with serving alcoholic beverages laced with drugs to guests at parties at Combs' home. And then uh, Combs' uh, son, Sean Justin Combs, or uh, his son, Justin Combs, was all, also accused of soliciting prostitutes and underage girls at no, his no. father's homes. Again, the Combs have denied no, no. any wrongdoing, but just a series of allegations that we've seen taking place. You know, so you know, if the father got it going on, right? If the father got it going on, definitely the son got to get it. <laughs> the son is going to need some cutting that shit. Yeah, man, the son is going to need some cutting that. Got the son is going to see the father go on with a bag of things and now say that he will go on and link the girls. Them and I, is it? Yeah, man. But the father know him have money, so you don't know what's up. The father definitely is going to spend money on the little girls, them, and all kind of things. Because, yo, it's crazy, though. It's crazy. People check in right now. Check in. Puff Daddy, we got it live right now, right here over here, man. We got a lot of things to talk about tonight, definitely. You don't want to miss the show. The show is well packed tonight. Let's continue. Final point, Wolf, I'll note is that while we don't know the specific allegations or why the feds are at these residences, it is worth pointing out the agency that is conducting this law enforcement activity. It's not the FBI. It's not the DEA or the ATF. This is HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. For those unfamiliar, this is an agency that has long been the forefront specifically at human trafficking investigations. So although we don't have the specifics yet, uh, we're starting to, to you know, we, we can glean just based on which agency has the lead the direction this might go. Uh, but again, we don't yet know that Combs himself was the target of the investigation. Well, we do know that at the, this hour that federal agents were at two of his homes, both here in Los Angeles and in Florida, Wolf. Yeah, important points. And Joey Jackson, now let me repeat, we don't know if Sean Diddy Combs himself is under investigation, but clearly, Joey, it's not good if your homes are actually being raided. No, it's not, Wolf. And I think, uh, you know, we, whatever conclusions can be drawn remain to be seen, right? There's not an indictment that we're talking about. That means that we're not speaking of a grand jury having rendered a conclusion, not as to guilt, that's not what grand jurors do, but as to reason to believe that a crime was committed and he committed them. Having said that, whenever you have a raid and an investigation, these things need to be really predicated upon, right, the precursor for this to happen would be some probable cause. Uh, what is that probable cause? We don't know. But let's go back to what Josh Campbell talked about, which are those various lawsuits. Now, lawsuits are civil actions in nature. They're not criminal at all. But what they do is they give authorities some guidelines and guideposts with respect to alleged conduct that was engaged in with regard to who it was engaged in, what activities there were, what it involved. And so that, if there's an investigation, could serve as a source of plentiful information. That information could be further investigated, right, by certainly uh, the, this Homeland Security Agency. And as a result of that, they can work with their local law enforcement partners. What does that mean? It means that they, collectively law enforcement, try to determine whether there's reason to believe that crimes were committed and, you know, were those crimes carried out uh, and associated in any way we don't know. Uh, you know, with Sean Combs. And so that remains to be seen. But before authorities will can get into the home or property of anyone, you have to establish some some firm basis to do that. And that is what at least we can conclude, that they had reason to believe that there were crimes involving sex trafficking, apparently, and that these areas potentially can give more information with respect to the specifics. And I think they would be looking for computer devices and other devices, which would seem to indicate or give information as to whether there was any criminality very early in the process. But certainly we know that these have been carried out and we'll see what, if any, information is gleaned to be suggestive of any criminality. Very interesting. Josh, let me get back to you. You know the FBI very well. Under what circumstances would raids like these be conducted? 
Well, this would require, if it is indeed a search that's being conducted, it would require federal officers, in this case with Homeland Security Investigations, going to a judge and seeking a warrant, indicating that we believe uh, that evidence of a uh, crime are, uh, could be located in these residences. And then this third party, an independent judge, has to uh, approve that warrant. And then you see take place what's happening now on our screen. I particularly want to focus on, you see that uh, large uh, RV-looking vehicle there. This is the, the mobile command post that federal agencies will send whenever they're going to be somewhere, uh, likely for a long time. I mean, if you look at these residences, we're talking about very large estates. And so, as Joey was mentioning, something as simple as uh, a thumb drive or uh, anywhere where uh, electronic media could be stored, if it's on that warrant, authorities can search that residence top to bottom looking for any type of device, any type of storage uh, mechanism that fits within the four corners of that search warrant. Now, again, I'll, again, I'll caution, we don't know specifically why they were there. Uh, it does tell us, I think, that you know, just because you see that large posture of all of these federal uh, vehicles that are there, including this mobile command post, this was uh, likely not something as simple as an arrest, where you show up and you 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 know find a person that you're seeking, uh, but likely more along the lines of a search warrant, which falls in line with what HSI told us in that statement when they say law enforcement actions. Uh, that's you know something that we often hear from federal agents as a euphemism for uh, conducting some type of search. Uh, but again, both of these residences, both where I am, am here in LA, it's just a few miles here uh, from the CNN LA bureau where this search is taking place. Also in Miami, you see this large cadre of federal agencies. Uh, this sending on those homes. Again, the big question now, what are they looking for? We're waiting for specifics on that uh, as this uh, search continues. And Joey, uh, video shows also shows heavily armed agents entering Diddy's home. That's the crazy shit. You know, that's the crazy shit that I'm talking about, bro. Like, that's some, that, that's the crazy shit, bro. It's like, you would have swear that Puff Daddy is some fucking nigga that has guns or something like that he being charged with guns or he being um a per persons came forth and um spoke about they seeing guns and murders and these kind of thing how these guys came for puff daddy you know what i mean bugger bugger officers with beer gun beer beer things swat team and all them something to them man <laughs> oh, what the bomb? yo let me, me tell you this foreign don't play when them coming for you bro could have be what one man, one fucking man, you know, a one man alone, one man alone. All of these, all of them police they come for. All of those cops came for that one man alone, Puffy. Him not have no big crew, him not have no big gang, just him alone. You're making joke when Babylon come for you, dog. Don't play with Babylon, dog. How unusual is that? I got six persons in the place right now. Got to say goodnight to those persons that check in. Big up everybody. Feel free to drop your comments about what's going on right now with Puff Daddy. You know the vibe is already. And please feel free to give the video a thumbs up so it could work with the algorithm so more persons could join the live. Thank you very much, my gang. So it's not unusual. I mean, I think that what law enforcement does is certainly they want to be protective of themselves, uh, potentially to deter any type of uh, activity that could occur of a criminal variety, not that there would be any, but you never know. And so as a result of that, once they are armed, not only armed literally, but armed with respect to a warrant, uh, you know, that would suggest that they have reason to be there, that there's criminality that would be afoot, potentially they go, law enforcement does, and they make sure that the area is secure such that they can get any information from that warrant so that they can continue to investigate. Very important to note, Wolf, that these are investigative stages. Warrants are typical in any type of investigation, right? This is the United States of America. Everyone has rights. But you don't get into someone's home without establishing that there may be some what we call indicia of criminality. They now, law enforcement, will evaluate whatever they find in connection with this search. And if that search bears fruit with respect to any potential criminality on any computer devices, any cell phone devices, any you know th thumb drives or anything else, then they will connect the dots. And if it's appropriate, they'll move to the next level. And that could lead to something more serious. Again, all speculation at this point. But we know now that they certainly had enough information to be in California and Miami. What stems from that remains to be seen. All right, Joey Jackson, Josh Campbell, to both of you, thank you very, very much. Yeah, man, yeah, man. God, 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 God. People definitely, man, shout out to everybody who check in. 
right now on the panel. Shout out to everybody who's checking on the panel. Please share the live. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share the live. Pop Daddy Mansion has been raided. You know the code. You know what's up. We're bringing it live to you guys. Drop those comments. Please drop those comments. You know the vibe is already over. Yeah, so. Why don't you own commercial real estate? Yes, you. Why don't you own Please share the live. We can kick it off with Puffy first, and then you don't know what's going on. We can deal with anybody else. You see me? Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody that is checking in right now on the panel. Like I said, give the video a share, give the video a thumbs up. Tag a friend, invite a friend. Let's go. A story we're following, and of course, we're trying to gather more and more information about it here on Live Now from Fox as Diddy's home in Los Angeles has been raided by uh, Homeland Security. Of course, we're learning more information. I do want to take you back out here before we get out to our Fox 11 team in their coverage because some of this video is very dramatic and we don't know a ton of information right now about this here on live and now from fox of course breaking news Please. of this uh, as you can see potentially law enforcement officials and other officials just outside of a gate this on a street uh near the beverly hills area of course we're following it very closely on live now from fox and of course we're watching this we didn't know exactly what definitely show to everybody we're checking in upon the ones and trees you know it already yeah, man. What we were seeing at the time. So this is just a little bit ago as they, you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well. The long guns and a multitude of people, as you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit. Just to see. look how much, look how much officers. This is what I'm talking about, bro. So much officer, so much channel star. You all saw a team out for Puffy, bro, guy. The man heavy be, man bad. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about, bro. It's like it's crazy because now speculation, allegation, and um, assumptions being mentioning about Puff Daddy and his freaky side. Things being going down at his places. Multiple people has been coming out and talk about Puff Daddy, and you know what I mean, having sex with men, having sex with females. Um, have females sexy with females, men sexy with men. It's a whole shenanigans of things, you understand? And since his girlfriend, because for those persons who don't know, um, Young Miami, yes, Young Miami is his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend. And definitely, she definitely um, witnessed some things also that was disturbing. And you know what I mean? She didn't really like it. So, you know, um, you know, um, she is the daughter of... Um, the boxer, yeah, the the the, the, the head. I, I don't, I can't remember which way to in, but Floyd might uh, Mayweather, yeah, Floyd Mayweather is her father. Yes, young Miami, she's a um R and B singer. She was with Puff Daddy. You understand? So you don't know the thing already. You understand? Yes, she um made a lawsuit, a suit, a lawsuit against Puff Daddy after what she been through went through with him and all these things she says she had to sleep with multiple men and all sorts of things you understand so it's crazy because to me i know puffy like boys most times when you're hearing certain allegations and certain um alleged stuff about puffy is men he got naked men in his yard he's sleeping with men usher came out you know what i mean people spoke about usher, usher came out um justin beaver you know what I mean? 50 Cent even talked about it. One time he tried to carry 50 Cent on a shopping spree. And, you know, 50 Cent is from the ghetto. 50, 50 Cent said, yo, nigga, we don't play them games. You know what I mean? We don't play those games. At all, we don't play those games. You understand? So multiple persons came out and spoke about this. But it seems like no action was taken until now. You understand? Until now, action has been taken. And we could see clearly what's going on. You understand? But we got a lot of details to share with you as we get more investigate and uh, more information with what's going on. You know the value. Of force they are using. Please share the life, people. To get inside this home, and of course, the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the American rapper and producer. You can see them checking inside of a vehicle. We don't know exactly what is involved. If Diddy's even there. 
We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there, raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy in any way, but you can see them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox team there in Los Angeles as we continue. Looks like they got somebody, I don't know if these persons are persons that is working with Diddy. Yeah, but it looked like they got a, they got a, they got a um, fellow there. Then you to come cover this and our Fox 11 team is there on the ground right now as we speak. Let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of Los Angeles. One of my students landed multiple six figure jobs in cyber security within just 90 days. And then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated. But it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. Yeah, when you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this this type of raid to such a big high profile mansion like this in a neighborhood like this as well. This is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly this is not something they do lightly. They really go th through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they conduct a raid like this. So yes, this took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this as you're seeing right now with this street also uh, shut down for the time being because Haley you could see the perimeter has been set up in that neighborhood to keep just the public back from the work that's being done and there you have the shot from Sky Fox again these heavily armed vehicles right next to all those luxury cars you already see a Porsche a G wagon so many luxury cars right there on that property so it is a very differing uh, juxtaposition there of, of what you're seeing but look at this mansion here in Holmby Hills where the raid is taking place again we don't know what what exactly they're looking for who they're looking for but again this investigation involving rapper Sean Combs, the music executive. But as you heard from Haley right there, she believes and she's been hearing that we do not think that. Yep, yep, sex trafficking. Bumbo clad. You know, so it not look good for Puffy right now. It not look good for Puffy. Look like Puffy is going down, bro. Look like Puffy is going down. We got eight persons up in the building. Can you give the video some likes? Can you give the like, the, the live some likes, please? I'm asking you. I'm begging you guys, please. That Sean Combs is on that property at home right now. He may be in New York as this raid is being conducted. But we do know from our reporting that over the course of the year already, just as early as uh, March this year, there have been several lawsuits filed against Sean Combs. So clearly this could be part of it. We are not sure Seven at lawsuits. this point. But again, Stu. Seven lawsuits. Not one or two, seven lawsuits has been filed. Those one have to be filed. From one woman come out and say, yo, you raped her, or you did whatever you did consider as rape to this female. That's all, especially if you got if you got all that money. It's like when, it's like if, okay, it's like a, it's a situation like this. You broke, but you got what, you got, you got what, what 10 baby mother. You might know about three baby mother, but you don't know the seven more. You understand? You might know about three, but you don't know about the seven because everybody don't know, say, you're broke youth. You know, you have your little thing, but you know, you don't have no big money for mine, no big set of children and all them something there. Say, so boom, you go win the lotto now. Soon as you go win the lotto and you put your name in the papers or you let them know who, you understand? Soon as that, all the, all the seven baby mothers then pop up. And you and you be like, what the fuck? Where the fuck are these seven? Where these? Where, where the seven? Where these seven baby mothers came from? What's really going on? It's, it's a situation like that. From one person, give Puffy a lawsuit from his girlfriend. You understand? Sue him. 
is beer sue after that. I tell you, sue till him get screw. <laughs> If you could hear me, what are you seeing right now in terms of uh, your point of view? Well, again, you saw some of those uh, officers right there at that one of the back houses. They did bring a ladder in. They were they they actually went out and brought that ladder into that property. You see it right there, and then they brought another ladder. So there's probably something inside this building right here that they are very curious about, or they were like you said, it was very well planned. They knew they were going to need that ladder to make access. So the, there is something inside this pr piece of property in the back, as one of the back houses, that they have been very interested in getting at we haven't seen them bring anything out at one point there's there I, I can say and when i keep saying that we didn't see them bring anything out the, the, we did see them bring out what looked like a big uh, plastic bin but i don't know if that was something that they had brought in with them as far as possible tools that they needed but that was the only thing that was seemed to be out of the ordinary and that did come out of that back house that we just showed you this is that front area that we were just talking about moments ago we watched as those bearcats made their way up mapleton to make the to actually do this raid and then uh, we watched as officers were getting through one of the pedestrian gates they over here on this side of the property once they had breached that well then they opened those gates up right there and those uh, armored vehicles rolled in they were very quick in whatever they needed to do to seize that home uh, that garage door went up very quickly and it doesn't seem to be actually a garage inside there We've been trying to peek in with the camera every now and then. It looks like there's a large table inside there. So that might have been an office area or some sort of staging area. And that's where we believe that most of the people that we see in custody came from. At least that's where we watched them exit this building with the officers early on when this raid was just starting. As it stands right now, you've got plenty of these armored uh, uh, law enforcement still walking the property. You see, uh, see them walking in pairs. A lot less of those weapons out so they are less on the uh, defensive as it would be and uh, you can see them just kind of making their way th through that property but I can tell you every home that's on here meaning there's three major homes this one right here there's a couple of officers still inside there we know at least one officer is still inside here so there they're still standing guard so that whatever it is that they're doing this isn't over by any means and I think this is probably just getting underway they just want to make sure that all these buildings are secure and if there is anybody on this property that they are in custody before they actually start whatever it is that they're looking for but again as you mentioned very well planned very uh, quickly executed and of course a number of officers out here i couldn't even venture to say how many of these armored officers that are on the property you can see them right there and this is just a small group that was also one of the things as soon as they made their way into that pedestrian gate the first thing they did was open up all those doors on that range rover and then made their way into this portion of the home and that's that garage that we've been talking about that garage door went up very quickly and at the, of all the people that we've seen come out of the building that's where they all came from they walked them out put them in this little corner right here and that's where they've been questioning them ever since another ladder as you were that's a lot of people man Shit, it's gonna be like the butler, the cleaner, the man that wash the car, the man that do the liquor gardening. Make him, you're making joke when your bumbo clout I work for. <laughs> I work for a man like that. When the feds come, everybody get locked up, dog. All the blood clot, dog. Everybody getting locked up, bro. Even the dog getting locked up, bro. Straight up. But this shit is crazy. Right now, this shit locked down the whole fucking place, bro. It's like, how the fuck did Puff that? <laughs> not how the fuck. It's like, I'm surprised because I thought nothing would have never come out of it. I'm saying to myself, nothing would have never come out of it. You know what I mean? And, you know, if these things is true, whatever law they have against it, you know what I mean? So be it. Whatever law they have, so be it. You understand? Because it's wrong.